The Baby Leviathan Enzyme Animation. Let's go! So hello comrades and welcome back to another Subnautica's news and updates video. Now today we are going to talk about the cute fish, we are going to talk about the ghost leviathan and of course we are going inside the precursor prison. Now before we jump straight into the updates, I want to show you one peculiar thing. Now I have just jumped in the most recent Subnautica's experimental game version. I don't know, am I the only one who is actually experiencing this bug? I'm going to pause the game a little bit. As you can see, here I cannot see what kind of tools we have. We cannot see the build that we're currently playing. And if we get a message from PDA, it's also getting bugged. Now, I believe I did not use one single animation uh, to exit the life pod and we're going to do that because I believe uh, everything started uh, when I first used the hatch animation. Let's go right here and let's try and use this one. Alright, everything's... what? Okay, comrades, now I believe this is actually very strange because right now it's fixed. As you can see, everything... Everything is cool. Everything is back to normal, but oh, okay. No <laughs> I was a little bit too early as you can see. Ev yeah, the bug came back. Wait a second If we go back to the life pod, maybe it's actually This bug fixes inside the life pod. No, it's getting even worse. Oh No, okay. Thank you. Okay. It what? This is actually so strange now. It's It's over everything is cool again. Okay, if we go down and use the hatch again and then try and use the console command ever what this is and yeah boom it's broken again so i hope this is not going to be too much trouble uh, we had we had the skittles bug and now we have the ui bug okay let's just forget about this let's go inside this cute small base that i have just built because what we're going to do we are going to check out the cute fishes. So I have spawned a lot of cute fishes eggs because apparently there are new animations uh, when these cute fishes are actually hatching. So uh, this is the egg, this is the egg. If I grab them and then actually put them back in the alien contaminated alien aquarium whatever this is an alien aquarium it should hatch i have no idea what is going on i had an issue with these cute fishes maybe it is related with the ui bug that i am having i have no idea but apparently i have spawned a little bit too much of them and they have left their small little nests their fetuses and they are now chilling in the aquarium but yeah as you can see these are the remains of the cute fishes. Now I have no idea why these two are not hatching. But comrades, you're not going to believe what I have experienced. When I first spawned 10 cute fishes eggs right here, they slowly turned everybody. Every every egg, every single piece of egg started turning black. Now, I'm sorry I don't have the footage and uh, you can actually always tell that. Oh my god, we can Pixar didn't happen, whatever. But yeah, they started turning black. I set the speed back to... I set the speed to 10 and they were just pulsating, pulsating just like these ones er, and no uh, cute fishes actually hatched. Uh, and then I returned a little bit later, I think five minutes, uh, when I spawned those cute fish eggs. And voila, I see them swimming, chilling, every, every single all, every single cute fish swimming right here. So I have no idea what is going on. I can actually set the speed to 10. And I'm going to show that, as you can see, they are not hatching. I have no idea what is going on, but what? You know what? Let's go let's let's give them a little bit of time we can actually go back uh, to this place any uh, time and actually see are these uh, 
two eggs of the cute fishes actually hatch or no by the way they are actually very creepy the remains of the cute fishes are actually so creepy but enough about the cute fishes i know they are cute and everything but now let's jump to the next update so uh to cover the next update we need to go to another biome 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 grand reef and we are going to search for one creature now comrades i'm going to uh, i'm not going to lie this is going to be a really amazing experience maybe some of you know uh we need a, a sea glide for this creature to find because it's actually uh well it it should be a little bit harder to find so yeah um it's going to be really amazing when you will find what kind of creature we are going to uh, we are looking for. Uh, but brace yourselves, this is going to be epic. So I'm going a little bit near the surface of the planet, and I believe it should be somewhere here. If we are not going to find that creature for a long time, I'm going to hide the fog. Uh, this should uh, oh. Hello. So, so comrades, I present you the ghost Leviathan, who right now actually spawns in the Grand Reef. Now, if you have watched my previous Subnautica news and updates video, you know that another ghost Leviathan, but a little bit smaller, spawns in the Lost River. In the Lost River, we have a cove tree, a very awesome looking tree with strange looking pulsating eggs and these eggs are actually baby uh, fetuses of ghost leviathan and eventually when the ghost leviathan spawn they are trying to go uh, outside the lost river and some of them end up in the grand reef and they are the ghost leviathans are bigger uh, than the ones who are in the Lost River. So, yeah, that is actually really awesome. Uh, this is going to be one of the biggest creatures in Subnautica and one of the most aggressive creatures. Right now, it, it cannot actually harm me because I am in a creative mod. And, uh, yeah, this is actually really awesome. So, comments, if you have a base in the Grand Reef, I suggest you uh, starting to relocate because this bad boy is going to... Uh, is going to disappear <laughs> no it's not going to disappear but it's go it is going to uh, it's going to give you a hard time yeah can I say that yeah thank you very much by the way I wanted to talk very shortly about these balls uh, now I know that only the hardcore Subnautica players know uh, that g uh, Subnautica game developers were actually thinking to make the balls explode when the player comes uh, too close to them. Uh, I don't know if the player need to touch them or no. I have no idea are they going to still implement this feature. Uh, that would be awesome because, uh, well, the first thing that you see when you see these balls, you are a little bit mesmerized and of course you go closer. And imagine the player's reaction if the boom, the uh, this ball is actually exploding. That's, that's actually exploding balls that sounds a little bit strange and awkward but that should be a nice uh, a nice touch to the subnautica game by the way as you can see right here in this uh, place it's glitching like I don't know, maybe I'm consumed by... Uh, as you can see, it, it, it is glitching. Comrades, I am consumed by Matrix. Thank you very much, game. Subnautica, well, I hope I'm, I'm actually consumed by by Matrix. That would be awesome, right? Okay, that, that's, that's really cool. That's a really nice story, Double G. Thank you very much. But let's jump to the precursor prison so i have just typed in the go to aquarium coordinates and everything is laggy as shit but don't worry my computer is going to handle uh, this uh, render thing in like five minutes so don't worry just give it a little bit of time let's watch the whole matrix thing and uh, let's pray that i'm going to be oh hello now uh we are getting uh, greeted by uh, the Sea Emperor, which is really awesome. And as you can see, are you here to play? The PDA says, and again, the Matrix thing. Thank you very much, Subnautica. Now, what we need to do, we are going to spawn and hatch the baby Sea Emperors. Just give me a second, all right? 
So I have just activated the portal to the other world. I have the hatching enzymes and uh, if you watched my previous Subnautica videos you can see that there was a small update. Uh, the icon for the hatching enzymes was changed and now it looks like this, like some sort of a bulb filled with white sticky stuff. You know, the hatching enzymes. <laughs> Now we are going to use these hatching enzymes and actually hatch the these uh, adorable little shits. Uh, come out, come out wherever you are, <laughs> because, uh, well, we need your enzymes. Because right now, comrades, we are going to witness the cool animation uh, for the enzyme ball interaction. So, hello. Now they should go and uh, greet with their mama for the first time. We have seen this, oh my god, like millions of times. And I know it's making me throw up every time I see this over and over again. And they are preparing for the animation again. Thank you, Subnautica Game Developers, for not making it complete. Uh, I hate you sometimes. No, 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 joke. I love you. I love you. Now they are cuddling with their uh, big, big mama. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, I just thought that the big mama jokes with the sea emperor would be like really awesome right okay whatever i'm sorry <laughs> just don't listen to me i'm so I, I sometimes talk crazy crap now you see uh, it is tired thank you very much yes my young are swimming for the shallows shut up i don't want to i don't want to listen to you i want some enzymes i want your babies to shit some enzymes just like that so comrades uh, this ball is a baby leviathan enzyme and I'm going to wait for the sea emperor to shut up and we're going to interact with that thing farewell friend thank you very much you did not die and now the baby leviathan enzyme animation let's go uh, oh, sticky sticky transparent green goo uh, it's actually touching. Oh, it's consuming me. Very beautiful. Wow, I have like a glove. Glove of sticky green goo. Ew, it's, it's, it's in my heart. Yeah, I, I told you, it's, it's Matrix. Oh my god, green Matrix. Thank you very much. Now I cannot move. Now I can move. And now I need one item. Item scanner. Just like that. And now let's scan ourselves. It should say that I'm not infect. I'm normal. I'm normal, comrades. I'm normal. I'm not infected by uh, the Karar bacteria anymore. So this is how we treat ourselves and get the hell out of this planet. We disable the gun, and everything is going to be and it's everything is going to end well. So yeah, this was the animation for the enzyme ball interaction interaction enzyme ball interaction thank you very much it was actually really awesome uh, i believe it is not finished because it looks actually very very strange transparent green goo uh, yeah it's it looks yeah it looks strange whatever so comrades i hope you enjoyed this subnautica's news and updates video if you did that is really awesome and you are awesome and you are always welcome to share this video with your friends and uh, yeah, if you have any, of course. And as always, comrades, I'm going to see you all tomorrow in the next episode. Bye.